Okay, so I guess August is moving right along here, so gotta get my boots in gear. Omaha Conference. We're actually leaving on September 13th, so that's not too far away. A couple of weeks away. Wow. Um, we're sort of preparing, Jacob and I, like, you know, um, usually with us, it's always last minute, you know, out the door, <laughs> out the door, get in the car, let's go, but um, we have some preparations already in place, um, I'm thanking God that uh, the provision's there for us to go, so, you know, that's one beautiful thing uh, that uh, the trip is actually happening. And the hotel's booked. So, West Fallen Campy has an update on his website. Um, I'm going to post the link here today. Uh, just because he has a schedule set up for the conference for the three days or however long it is. And um, it's all set up, ready to rock and roll. And uh, we'll get there. And we'll get to meet everybody Seth and Martin and Wes and wow. Um, and Jacob has a friend who's actually going to meet him down there, I believe. Um, he wants to go to the conference. Jacob's been sharing Martin's videos with him. So it's going to be pretty awesome, too. Uh, it's an online friend that Jacob had for a while playing video games or whatever. So he's happy to be able to meet up with him. I'm not sure where the young man's from. I think he's from Michigan or something like that. I am not sure. But today I'm going to share something about the detainer, which is us, and the secret of lawlessness. Okay, what is the secret of lawlessness? We read in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 6, And now you are aware what is detaining, delay, or restraining. So the detainer, the members of the body of Christ that are still on the earth, is holding back all out craziness for him to be unveiled in his own era. <clears throat> so we are detaining that for the secret of lawlessness is already operating. Only when the present detainer may be, be, may be coming to be out of the midst, then will be unveiled the lawless one. That there would be great lawlessness at the end of this eon was verified by Jesus himself. Matthew 24, 12. This was no secret. Paul refers to this future lawlessness when he writes of the lawless one. <clears throat> but the Thessalonians were not to be disturbed into thinking that the lawlessness of their day was a sign. They were under that reign of the Antichrist. The lawlessness during the period of the Roman Empire was not the lawlessness of the end of the eon. We too may easily be alarmed and shaken in mind by the lawless conditions of our society. Riots, unchecked crime, and hidden corruption seem to be multiplying, and we are tempted to wonder whether we might be in those last days the Lord spoke of in Matthew 24. But we have been given this scripture in 2 Thessalonians to correct such false conclusions. Today, all lawlessness is part of the secret, or it's hidden. You can see the lawlessness is hidden. It's covered over. It's hidden under the darkness um, in the sense of what's happening behind the scenes. The secret of lawlessness, it's a secret. It cannot be compared in severity and boldness. Right, so they're not right out there boldly doing, uh, doing stuff. Um, the real, dirty, secret, hidden, corrupt, wicked things are happening behind the scenes. To that which shall accompany the lawless one. Today's lawlessness was never prophesied. The Lord never referred to it. It was a secret until revealed by Paul. The lawlessness would accompany the secret of Israel's callousness, Romans 11.25, and the acceptable error wherein 
we herald the word of the conciliation. 2 Corinthians 5, 18 When the era ends, the present lawlessness will be succeeded by the lawless rule of the one who, as Satan's dupe, will deceive the masses of mankind through falsehood and unrighteousness. That false peace that's going to come in. That's part of the deal. That, that We don't see that yet, that false peace. Because we're still here. The detainer is still on this earth, which is the body of Christ. No matter how frightening events may be today, we should be consoled by the truth of God's word, thanking him that he prefers us for salvation, and that we can live in a day of salvation. The secret of lawlessness, which already op which was already operating in Paul's day, is still operating. And in the light of what is to come afterwards, the multiplication of lawlessness under the lawless one, we may be thankful for the period of time in which the secret of lawlessness is operating. As for ourselves in these days, we are not to become disturbed or despondent, but to rejoice in the true Christ who gives himself for us, that he should be redeeming us from all lawlessness and be cleansing for himself a people to be about him. Zealous for ideal acts. Titus 2.14 So there, that's a good little dealie for this Sunday. Um, so yeah, go check out uh, West Fallen Camp's uh, updated uh, deal on the Omaha Conference. I'm sure you have if you're going. But it, it'll be there under the show more links. As well, I do have a PayPal um, link as well if you want to contribute to this work in the Lord. And uh, I appreciate it. I appreciate whatever anybody contributes. It's a beautiful, uh, heart-given gift, and I thank God for it. So, grace and peace. Have a beautiful Sunday.